Well hey, good afternoon everyone and welcome back to the channel. I've got a lovely bit of news for you to run through uh, regarding some of the restrictions here in Tenerife. If you're new to the channel, a big welcome. Uh, we do have regular little news updates on the channel if you want to check it out and subscribe. Uh, we've got loads of videos on there. If you are already an existing subscriber, welcome back. I've come down today to give you a bit of an update as regards to the levels. Some good news for Tenerife in particular, we have dropped down into level three restrictions. I'm gonna go through exactly what they mean and some other little bits of news uh, shortly. Hopefully we won't have too much wind noise. I did unfortunately just break uh, the microphone. So uh, not quite been uh, my day today, but I'm gonna bring you this good news. Nothing's gonna uh, wipe the smile off my face. We've got sunshine, blue skies, and uh, everything is replaceable after all. Uh, so the news article goes like this. Tenerife drops to level three and the rest of the islands stay the same. So Tenerife has dropped down from level four to level three. Uh, Gran Canaria stays in level four. Uh, Fuerteventura, La Palma, La Gamera and El Hierro all uh, on level three with Tenerife. Lanzarote is on level two uh, and none of the islands are on level one at the moment. Tenerife goes to level uh, three due to the improvement of the healthcare indicators over the last 14 days as occupancy of hospital beds in wards uh, by COVID patients has reduced from a high risk level to a medium level. So fantastic news there. What exactly does that mean? What, uh, what are the new rules? In brief, uh, bars and restaurants now have 100% capacity on their terraces and 75% capacity indoors. If their license allows it, bars and restaurants uh, can stay open until 4am and groups of 12 can now meet together as well. Uh, that's basically there the most uh, changes. Uh, your nightlife as well is all the same, 100% outdoors, 75% uh, indoors and attendance to the, you know, big sporting events, etc. back to 100%. I just thought that was really, really good news. More opening hours, you can stay out a little bit later, have a few more drinks, relax a bit more, not worry about getting home, what time everything closes, but also the terraces back to 100%. You can come out and enjoy this lovely sunshine. That was the main bit of news I wanted to bring you. There is some other interesting articles that I'm gonna run through though. Um, there was one here, uh, and that is that Pedro Santos, the president of Spain, uh, does expect us to hopefully stop having to wear masks indoors soon, as quoted. Uh, Sanchez, we hope to stop the use of masks indoors uh, soon. With the mandatory use of COVID uh, certificate withdrawn and 100% capacity restored at sporting events, the main national restrictions are uh, still that you must wear masks indoors. So if you're going in the shops, inside restaurants, etc., you do have to wear the masks. Uh, when he was questioned about uh, removing that rule, he just said soon. So let's hope that the rates continue to drop down. We might then, I don't think it's going to be you know, imminent. I do think in a few months time, maybe we will see uh, the use of masks inside uh, dropped, which would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, some other articles that jumped out to me, uh, which I'd like to uh, read to you. Uh, the Canary Islands expects 15 million visitors this year. That just shows how busy the island is, how many bookings are in, and how much we expect to have coming over. 15 million visitors to the Canaries. Absolutely fantastic. We're ready for you. The excursions are ready for you. The beaches are ready. Uh, get yourself over. Weather absolutely fantastic at the moment as well. I just think that shows a sign of what's to come. I've seen a lot of uh, increases in terms of Brits making reservations now. Now that it's eased up over there, you haven't got to have tests, etc. Uh, the other bit of uh, news I wanted to read out, uh, the Canary Islands takes to Instagram to attract teenage British tourists. So uh, the Canary Islands government are launching a new promotional campaign on Instagram today, uh, which is aiming to attract the teenage British tourists um, hoping that they can uh, now travel uh, with a negative PCR test. That's their market aim, is to go for it. They're hoping that's gonna, I don't think that will really attract too many. The fact that you've got to do a test. Teenagers, will they really want to go through all that when they can go to the likes of Turkey without it? I do think I needed a little bit more than that, but I thought it was interesting going down the route of Instagram, uh, starting to make a few changes. That is where everything is these days, Instagram, YouTube, of course, uh, Facebook as well. Uh, so I thought that was a little bit of interest and uh, finally, uh, other than that, 
is just to let you know that the weather is still fantastic. It's still extremely busy. I've done a few live streams uh, on the channel this week. If you haven't seen them, go and check them out. It does just show you how busy the island is. The promenade's very busy, bars and restaurants very busy. Uh, they're doing a little bit of work on Los Cristianos Beach, just cleaning out the sand, sort of turning it over, relayering uh, the sand. It's, uh, I believe it's just a clean up was what I was told. I did check that out. But yeah, the main news is down to level three. It's another fantastic sign. I brought you a good news update a few days ago, and here is another good one. Uh, we're down to level three, and uh, bars and restaurants are even more, uh, less restricted, open for longer. Fantastic news. If I did miss anything, do comment below. Let me know if I missed any important news or anything uh, that you think is relevant for people to read through. People do read the comments, so if you've got anything interesting or anything I may have missed, uh, do drop your comments. If you're new to the channel, as I said, I will keep you up to date, so do subscribe. It's completely free. And uh, please do hit the thumbs up. It helps uh, boost the video, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get a, uh, a new microphone. I've just snapped off the, uh, the little uh, bit that goes into the end of the iPhone there. Uh, trust me, what a... Uh, <laughs> a bit of a pain in the bum. I hope there hasn't been too much wind noise. It's a quite a calm day today, uh, but hopefully I can get, I don't think I'll be able to fix it. I'll hopefully be able to try and get a new one. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know your thoughts on that news. Are you booked to come over? If not, get yourself booked. It's going to start becoming uh, more and more expensive as time goes on, more and more people making reservations. So get your flights booked, get your holiday booked and uh, stride on. I will see you very soon with hopefully more good news. Bye guys.